Hi, this is Jane Nelson, and welcome to Positive Discipline, where you're going to learn hundreds of non-punitive parenting tools. Many parents think that when we say, don't use punishment, that that means being permissive. And permissiveness is not healthy for children any more than punishment is. In fact, wouldn't you be willing to give up punishment and permissiveness if you knew there were many other methods and tools you could use that would help your children learn self-discipline, responsibility, cooperation, and problem-solving skills? Let me share with you the five criteria for positive discipline. Number one is that it's both kind and firm at the same time. When you're kind, that's very respectful to children, and when you're firm, that's respectful to the needs of the situation. If you're being too kind without being firm, you're probably being too permissive. And if you're being firm without being kind, you're probably being too controlling and disrespectful. Criteria number two is to help children feel a sense of belonging and significance. Belonging and significance is the primary goal of all people, and especially children. And when children don't feel that sense of belonging and significance, they usually try to find it in mistaken ways. And those mistaken ways are usually seeking undue attention, misguided power, revenge, or just giving up. Criteria number three is that positive discipline, non-punitive parenting tools work long-term not just short term. And this is where I get to observe that I'm not saying that punishment doesn't work. If all you're interested in is stopping the behavior right now, punishment will do that. But we need to be aware of what children are thinking, feeling, and deciding that affects them long term. Criteria number four is that positive discipline tools help children learn valuable social and life skills for good character such as problem-solving skills and thinking skills and listening skills, communication skills, self-soothing skills, and many other tools that will serve them throughout their life. And the last criteria, number five, is that positive discipline tools help children develop a sense of their own capability and helps them learn how to use their personal power in useful ways so that they can be contributing members of society.